me ask you this. If you could, the people on, on your teams or the people in your uh, organizations, if you could get them from almost engaged to engaged, engaged being I know what's expected of me and I can do my job well. If you just change people one category, do you think that makes a big difference to your bottom line? What does that look like when a leader or the leadership honors all of the temperaments and we get people in the engaged and highly engaged? That's where some great, amazing things can happen for a company. Would you agree with that? Because that's this temperament. They know about people because they really care about the experience and what people are going. I'm not saying I don't care about you, but if you've got big problems, I will avoid you the rest of the day, right? <laughs> This idea that we think it's our way or the highway, that isn't gonna work. The idea that we want everybody to do it the way we do, even though we feel better about that, we compromise the outcome because we're not getting the best of all of the temperaments represented in a situation. Leadership is giving everybody a voice at the table. Leadership is not only giving them a voice, but honoring their voice and not just saying you can have a voice because I know you're supposed to have a voice and I get to check the box and I'm a good leader if you have a voice, but it's really integrating their voice into whatever happens, right? Let me just tell you something. When you start doing that, you change a culture so quickly. You change the experience of the employees so quickly and it changes the P&L, it changes the bottom line, it changes the, hey, we spend more time at work, most of us, than we spend with our families. Are you kidding me? To do it any other way is irresponsible.